The 31st Susan G. Komen Columbus Race for the Cure happened this morning in downtown Columbus. This event raises hundreds of thousands of dollars for breast cancer research and support every year. NBC 4's Delaney Ruth is showing us the impact. The Columbus Race for the Cure was a huge success this morning. Thousands of people gathered at North Bank Park, all for one cause, ending breast cancer. Whoa. Participants raised over $800,000 for this year's Columbus Race for the Cure. Central Ohio Komen volunteer and breast cancer survivor Lynn Heron says the amount of money raised every year shows just how important this event is. Being able to be in community with people that have been through what you've been through and to share those stories and community, no matter what your community is, is so vital to feeling good about yourself and, and having support. Someone who knows about community support well is Misty Martin. She was diagnosed with stage one breast cancer in November. She works for North Union Schools in Richwood, and she turned her diagnosis and chemo treatment into something positive and educational for the students with a district-wide fundraiser. The team that won the mo or raised the most money was able to cut my hair at school. We had a pep rally um, in the kindergarten class one. They cut my hair at school with lots of cheers and lots of chants from everybody in the crowd. The students raised nearly $3,500 for Martin's Race for the Cure team, and she says the kids learned a lot from this experience. And I really think that it helped them see what I was going through, help them understand a little bit more why I would show up the next week without any hair. And as survivors, both Martin and Heron agree that the Columbus Race for the Cure makes a huge difference for breast cancer fighters, survivors, and everyone else who attends. If you are here today and you came across that start finish line, I want you to know that we're here to celebrate you. And if nothing else, you can tell cancer that today it didn't win. If only for today, cancer didn't win. Although the race is over, fundraising is still happening until June 18th. Head to our website, NBC4i.com, to find out how you can donate. Local for you, I'm Delaney Ruth, NBC4.